Hallelujah. We thank you all for joining us here at Upper Room Last Day's Ministries. We'd like to welcome you here. We'd like to welcome you there on live feed there. We thank you for joining us there. Also on the local channel, the White Rose Network, and in Pakistan, the Bright Star Network. My sister Didi is sponsoring them. And in Texas, on the All Nations Network, where Brother John Na Na Nace is sponsoring it. And we're asking for more donations and sponsors so we can spread it around, the gospel around more to more nations that we have already. And to do so, you can go on our website, which is www.upperroomlastdaysministries.org, www.upperroomlastdaysministries.org. You can do so on our Facebook page as a donate donation button. PayPal and Google. Google Pay. Go on our website and I'll give you all the information you need to know to do all that stuff. It'll direct you to where you need to go. That means we also have said that in Pakistan, we're the number one program over there, reaching 44 million viewers in a dominant Muslim nation. Which is remarkable, but I understand why you guys keep viewing, because what we have an all seems like an all-star lineup here, because for those who don't come here and get to see it, the first Sunday is the WOW, the Women of War, Women of Wisdom, Women on the Watch. And the daughters here put what the Lord lays out on their heart to all you folks out there and here, and that's why you don't have to be a member to be, to go up, come up here and put out what the Lord put on your heart in front of all them viewers. That's ironic. And then the second one after that, not to overdo it, the second Sunday is Pastor Michael Ganaway with the message that he has. It's wonderful. And the third Sunday is Pastor Howard Dissinger, another awesome uh, message there. And the last Sunday, is our own prophet James W. Humphrey, a wonderful message he always gives. And sometimes we have a special guest like we did one time on the last Sunday. And today is a fifth Sunday. We get an extra Sunday today, and we have a, another, again, brother, Pastor Tim Strausener from West Virginia. And they come down here on their, on their own well-being and to put out the message to you viewers out there from West Virginia. Four-hour trip there, come from here and back. It's a wonderful. And then on the third Friday of every month, we have at 7 o'clock, we have Rabbi Ed Frankovich. Another wonderful message there. And on the last Sunday at 7, last Thursday here at 7 o'clock, we have a special guest speaker. And not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, January 8th, we will be starting Tuesdays at 7 o'clock with the uh, Apostle Carolyn Fields. What a, what a lineup we have here. We, we expand, and we hope to get more expanding. Because coming here, I mean, heck, we don't have no problem coming here every day. We got Tuesdays, Sundays, we come here on Friday, but we like to come here, be here every Friday, be nice. And then Thursday. And as a church, and I was down in Texas. We meet every day, Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays. Opposite to what some people do on Sunday worship, we worship Monday. We worship Monday through Fridays. Have to have to work to get people from going to the bars and all that stuff. And that kind of helped me down there, and that's where I was chosen. And there's a lot of good things that happened in that little church down there in Clean, Texas. We're on the station of Fort Hood. But that being said, it's not my day. It's, oh, well, it's never my day. It's the Lord's day all the time. Amen. Amen. It's a blessing. He woke us up this morning because there's some purpose he has still. And so we have the offering. You can come up, bring the offering now or after the service, if you wish. Thank you, Father, for all the donations and sponsors we have now for the offerings and the tithes we're going to get. Bless them double. 
We thank you for the future donations and sponsors and, and future networks we're going to have to spread the gospel in your time, in this special time, in this time or season we are seeing now. Thank you, Father, for all that you're doing, not just in my life, but everyone else's life here and around the world. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. 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 If anybody has anything to add to it, I'd like to give it to uh, Brother Tim. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise God for everything. Amen. Amen. Praise Him for the hard times, too. Yes. Preacher told me years ago, he said, don't just praise God for everything good. It's just everything that happens in your life. It's to bring us closer to God. Amen, yes. And that's hard to take sometimes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's hard to praise Him when you're down, when you're sick. Amen? That's why you need a, a help me. Someone to help you. God's given me a good wife. Yes. Amen. 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 Beautiful woman of God. Yes. Holy woman. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God for you all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God give us another good trip. Today, we got on 30 at Chambersburg, decided to stop and get a bite to eat at Wendy's, just went through an intersection, uh, went inside and washed up, sat down, had her food, and just went through, just within five minutes five to ten minutes, somewhere in that area. And all of a sudden the lights went out in the store, flickered and come back on. Sister Pam heard something and they looked outside. Down the road, the, either someone ran a red light and a truck come out and clipped a telephone pole down right there. Could have T-boned us right there, just oh within my. ten minutes. Oh I mean. My. You can't tell me God doesn't keep his hand upon right. us. Amen. You can't tell this old hillbilly right. that. Amen. 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 And what you find out in life, it means Sister Pam been talking a good bit about this. It's good to have someone to talk to, isn't it? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's great for the wisdom of God, what God gives us, amen? And if we ask God for more, He'll give us more, amen? Amen. Do you believe that? Yes, amen. Amen. And uh, the preacher man called for prayer tonight. That's why God said, uh, thank God that this happened. That's why I prayed that. that uh, that's just to show Him. Yeah. To show yeah. Him. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I see you don't need to know what to pray for as the Spirit gives utterance. This might have sounded strange to him, but, you know, this could be the very thing to show people that God still works miracles. Yes, Amen. Amen. Amen? By the faith, faithful people that believe. You have to believe in this with everything. Oh, yeah. You can't half believe in it. That's right. You have to give it all to God first. Everything. Everything. Amen. And, and the thing, out of all creation, and everything that has the breath of life, and the human species is the only thing 
that you have to teach. The animals already know when they're born what to do, don't they? Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. That's right. Mama and Daddy teaches you how to talk. Mommy potty trains you. I had nothing to do with that. Mommy does it all. The woman does all the work. We're sitting here tonight. The women's got their hands in there. We're just sitting there with the men, though. <laughs> it's something, isn't it? Huh? Hands in the air, and the guys are just sitting there looking around. Me, too. I'm doing it, too. It's a, it's a shame, though. I mean, even at the tomb, the women were there. Where were the men? They were hiding, weren't they? It's something. God made women so beautiful, and you put something so great in a woman. The men can't raise kids like a woman can. I mean, they they have the mother's touch. I mean, it's just the nature of it. But the humans have to be uh, taught everything, but the animals can come out, and within an hour or so, that they can be up and walking around. It's something. It's what you're taught. Yeah. It's what's put into That's a right. person. That's right. And the more of God we put in, the more we'll it will flow. It will come, won't it? Amen. It will come as the Spirit. As the Spirit. The more we seek God, the more we believe, the more we trust God. Amen? That's hard to do a lot, isn't it? Amen? Yeah. Amen. I, I, I was talking to myself a lot too, bud, brother, Jason. It happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. And you find out with people, if you have something good to say, everything's okay. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, isn't it? It's something. You say one thing that rubs someone the wrong way, that guess what? Think about it. You're no longer in a family tree. They won't kick you out, don't they? Yes. That's something, isn't yes. it? Yes. But praise God that he loves us. Amen? Amen. And praise God for the prophets. Praise him for the prophets. Yes, Lord. Amen. Prophet Humphreys, too. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's tight, Brother Humphreys, but it's right. Oh, really? Amen. Amen. I know, this friend of ours, uh, we've known him for a good while, this man. He's, he has a blood disorder, something in his blood that every time he has blood tests, nothing. Just nothing. Nothing's normal in his blood. Never has been. Doctors didn't think he would still be living. That man's, it's been over 30 years and he's still walking around. Praise God. They have pills for everything now. They have a pill on TV now that uh, if you want to live longer, just start taking this pill. <laughs> you never seen the commercials yet? They'll, they'll make it out this way. They'll make it. They have a pill for a pill. Pill for everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen? <laughs> yeah. Amen. The, the people depend on the doctors more than depend on God. Amen. It's shameful, isn't it? It's shameful. It's shameful. You just never think, you just, you can't even uh, grasp hold of these things when, when you just see how people, uh, they don't honor God, they don't respect God. Look at this big old earth, just look at it. Amen. And, and the beauty of it, and the things of it. And what God made, created and made, he, he said it was good, didn't it? Amen. Yes. Huh? Yes. He said it was good. Mm -hmm. Or it is good. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. I know he shakes his head a lot at me. I, I know he does. He has to. He has to. It's got to be his great love, his great mercies. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get mad? Do you ever get upset? Do you just pity party? Do you ever have a pity party? No. No? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, praise God. God laid this on my heart. 
Amen. And uh, he's great. That's all I can say is he's great. And every every day and every night, I pray God. I pray that people honor you, that they lift you up, yes. that you get the glory every day. Yes, Lord. Every day, Lord. Yes. Every day. Yes, people lift up hands everywhere. I pray that there has to be yes. people who love God somewhere. Yes. Somewhere. Yep. Amen. Somewhere. My God. Amen. 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 And we 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 don't just get in a vehicle and, and drive for hours. Uh, for nothing. I mean, it's not that. Uh, it, it's just hard to explain it because it, it's God drawing us because yes. every time we're here, we, we do receive things from God. Thank you, Jesus. And no sooner, and, and kept praying to God, and God always seems like He shows something or says something, but no sooner. And because I even thought, Lord, you know, uh, this message, people heard it. Uh, people have their own interpretation of it. And, and you know how you just start, when you, when you start thinking on your own, then you get in trouble. Yeah. But if you listen to what God, the Spirit says, is telling you, and then everything will work out. Everything for the good and it does yes. but for God to confirm things sometimes we want a confirmation and so we were talking and that brother called uh, the pastor called brother or prophet Humphreys and then sooner than you said now remember now now, and, and people were, were laughing, joking around. You said, get serious now. <laughs> now, it's true, it's now. Yes. Amen? Yes. And uh, I'll read here in a little bit. God always just throws that one word you need to hear. Amen? Yes, Lord. He just gives it to you because... God is going to do some great things tonight, Brother Humphreys. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. You know what the doctors tell people, whatever they tell? It's mostly bad news. Amen. Sometimes you get good news this way, but it has nothing to do with the doctors. Amen. Yeah. Or we put our faith in the doctors so much instead of God. It's true. I mean, we all do it. We've done it. Who's what? Well, that's what Isaiah says, isn't it? Galatians 3, we'll read a little bit here. And, uh, I'm just amazed how God, God does things for the people that believe, that trust Him, and that no matter what, they still serve God even after all these years. Faithful, you have to be faithful to God. You have to be. Oh, yes. If God's ever going to use His people or chosen people, we have to be faithful. Yes. We have to trust Him and we have to believe. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? And this is written for us. And the works that Jesus did, He said, we'll do also in greater works. Shall you do because I go to my Father. But the the thing that bothers me is, is we're not seeing the works that Jesus did. We're seeing some works, but we're not seeing the works that he left for us to do. Amen? Amen. And so, it's not God's fault, is it? No. Is it? No. It's not. It's not God's fault, no matter how we look at it. You know, I blame Sister Pam for a lot of things. You know, it was never her fault. It was my fault. Amen? <laughs> it was. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. It's true. It's true, people. It's true. The, the, the women get everything dumped on them, and they, they run the household. You know? 
they do. The men go out to work. That's the easy part, going to work. You get away from all that. Amen? <laughs> it's something. It's, it's, it just amazes me, though. I, I never knew how hard house cleaning was till I tried doing something. And I thought, I'll take outside work any day. <laughs> any day. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God for the women, the good women of God, the, the women that trust God, that believe God. Amen. You have to give honor words due. Amen. Yes. You have to. We have to. Amen. Galatians, the third chapter. <clears throat> Paul's talking to the Galatians here. And, and one thing about Paul, you say about Paul, he's not afraid, you know. You have to speak with boldness. You know. Holy boldness. Amen. You have to bring it. You don't add to it. You don't change it. It's written, and it's written for us. And whatever you're taught in life, or whatever your parents teach you, uh, and, and, until you, uh, until you truly find God, though, you, you don't know the realness of God. I mean, people can tell you this, tell you that, but until you get down and out, where the uh, rubber meets the road or the pavement, where, where, you, where you get down and start crying out to God, that's when God can really use you. He wants to use us. He wants to pour out His Spirit tonight. And it is quick, Brother Humphers. It's quick. I remember years ago, uh, eight of us was praying for this woman. She had a heart failure. 10% left to give her up for dead. Round, round it up front in the, in the building in the church here we had for years there. All of a sudden, something smacked the side of that church and it come through the wall, big ball of fire, just shot through the wall, didn't leave a mark on it. Wasn't a mark on the outside or the inside. It was a white church, white building, just quick, just shot across there, just and loud, and just you could hear it sizzle. I mean, just fire. And, and not even put a mark on anything. And that, and that woman ended up getting healed that night. And she wasn't even in the church. We're just standing in prayer asking oh, God Jesus. for a miracle. No, we got the miracle. We got a sign. Hallelujah. He sealed that. And he delivered that. That was years ago. Mm. Years ago. Amen. Huh? Mm. It's amazing. Yes, Lord. And Jacob, when he was little, at my dad's, I might have told you this. Uh, he has a bunch of steps going down cement. Jacob was two years old, probably tripped and fell. And on the third step, he got caught right in midair, nothing around. Just hanging in midair until I got my arms around. Just stopped right in midair. Oh, right in front of my dad. My dad just looked. He, he couldn't. Mm. Something, isn't it? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do you believe God could raise someone from the dead? Oh, Jesus, yes. Do you still believe that? Oh, yes. He can. Mm -hmm. he, he's going to show people yet. Oh, yeah. You know that? Amen. People done, they, they done cut Israel off. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. They did. They cut them off. They cut them clear out of the picture. I guess they've never read the scripture or they picked out what they want. Mm -hmm. Everything resolves around Israel. You know that? Mm -hmm. Amen? That's right. Amen. Amen. And listen how Paul gives it to the Galatians. I'm going to... He said, you stupid Galatian. Galatians, who has put a spell on you? There's a spell... 
There's a spell on the church world, Brother Humphreys. There's something. Something. Paul said it's a spell. Who tricked you or who put a spell on you? This is what he's saying to them there. That you should not obey the truth before your very eyes, Jesus Christ clearly portrayed and crucified among you. So there's something going on in this church world. They take out what they want and they add what they want to it. They do this. People do. They do this. Amen? Revelations warns us not to. <laughs> Don't do it, boys. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. And Paul says, this is all I want to ask of you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Amen? This is amazing. Are you that stupid having begun in the Spirit's power, nor are you made perfect by the flesh? Is anyone made perfect by our flesh tonight here in the building? No. 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 And I wonder oftentimes why God just don't take people and just shake them off this earth. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. You ever get mad enough to do that? Mm -hmm. If I was God, if I was... <laughs> That's a shame to say, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> Have you suffered so much for nothing... Is that what you think? What about God who supplies you with the Spirit and He works miracles among you? Does He do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Amen? Faith. 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 You believe that? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Even as Abraham believed God and it was accredited to his account as righteousness. So understand that it is those who live by trusting and being faithful who are the true sons of God. Amen. That's what, that's just few nowadays, it seems like it. There's probably thousands or millions of people, but, you know, every, every place you go, it seems like there's eight or ten people, and, you know, uh, Come Easter, when they're giving away their Easter candy and their this and that, you have 500 people there. ministry. You can see the rest of this message each Sunday evening, your local time. If you would like to receive our monthly newsletter and know the things the Lord is speaking to Prophet Humphrey, then please send a love offering to help cover our expenses. Also, if you would like to have an anointed prayer cloth and become a ministry partner, send us your picture so we can pray, lay hands on you and your need and expect signs, wonders, and miracles in your life. Starting today, you will never be the same. If you would like to schedule a speaking engagement, contact our ministry. All glory to Jesus. Amen, amen.